All right, now to a wild story here about a local fisherman that has uh, he got what's called fish funk. It's not the exact medical term for this, but it is a bacterial infection. And you can see what it did to his hand here. It's very swollen. Makes you think twice about going fishing. Our Nicole Grigg got to talk to this man outside of his hospital room today as this became more serious than he ever thought it would. For the first time in days, this outdoorsman was allowed outside again. It, the swelling hasn't really went down a lot. Just With his hand wrapped in layers of white gauze, Brian Morgan describes when he knew something was wrong. It started out in my finger, my index finger. The local fishing captain thought the pain was from getting pricked by a fish, something that happens often. I thought it might be something like a foreign object that got in my hand, like a fish bone or something like that, that worked up my hand. Turns out he touched a fish with an open cut on his hand, causing an infection. After a few days, the pain and swelling was so bad, he ended up in the ER, spending the last three days getting antibiotics and having doctors drain his hand. And, you know, my hands are my tools in my job, and it's what I work with. And if, without my hand, I'm not working. <laughs> he says he had Mycobacterium marina, what is nicknamed fish funk. It's an infection that is more common in people who work with fish or have at-home aquariums. Yeah, I'm just trying to warn everybody, you know, when you're out there, make sure you take care of your hands. Um, if you do get a cut or something like that, make sure they're cleaned out with peroxide. Luckily, the fishing captain isn't missing too much work on the boat since his hospital stay is the same time as this cold front. He's expected to be on antibiotics for at least six months. For the now, I'm Nicole Grigg.